Hi, I'm Ruth Snyder, and I'm the play advisor with Discovery Toys, That um, who is working with Brandy Sullivan to do this toy party. So I know that some of you are interested, that you've asked about your children's ages, and that maybe it's not a good time. Um, might be bedtime, it might be dinner time. Uh, it's Saturday night. So I'm gonna go ahead and record this Zoom party and hopefully you'll watch the recording and get some information about Discovery Toys and about toys that will help your children learn and have fun while they're learning and um, develop the way they're supposed to develop. So um, I joined Discovery Toys when I had an infant and I wanted to be a full-time mother I also wanted to have a professional identity and um, my background was child development and I wanted to use my educational background in my work. My mission in life is to help parents be the best parents they can be and to give them some ideas about child development and parenting, <clears throat> but also just share with them and let them share with me. So. What is special about Discovery Toys and Discovery Toys products? So you know how there are toys that your child plays with for a few minutes, or maybe a few hours, or a day, or a week, and then they lose interest? Well, Discovery Toys products last for several stages of development because they are child-operated. That means that it's the child's ingenuity and curiosity that makes the toy work, not the other way around. Along with toys, books, and games that you choose and order, you get a knowledgeable play advisor, <coughs> excuse me, to help you understand the value of those products and the benefits to the child and also the benefits to you. If you have a toy for your child that the child is so uh, enamored with <coughs> and um, engages with, then they're going to be happy and stay busy and learning. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> While you're getting other things done, um, it also helps parents feel like they're doing a good job because when you play an educational game with your preschooler or school age child, you know that you're being a good parent and I know when I was I had kids at home I would always question the job I was doing and when I was playing an educational game with my child I knew I was being a good parent and doing the right thing so these toys help your children gain skills called executive function skills these are skills that are important in life not just in school um, some examples are of executive function skills are self-regulation or self-control, problem solving, imagination, working memory, and critical thinking, and there are several more. So I'm going to show you some toys that are on sale, and there are just a couple that aren't on sale that I have here if there's time. I don't want to have a real long um, presentation that you don't want to listen to. So I'm going to try to keep it short, but first let's do a little housekeeping. So I want you to know that if you see a lot of toys you'd like, then you can think about hosting your own toy party. That will help Brandy get some half price items as well as the free toys she'll earn from the party. And, um, and it's fun and you can share the toys with your friends and you'll be a hero because um, there aren't a ton of Discovery Toys people around and your friends may not know where they can get them. And so if you host a party and introduce them to Discovery Toys, they will thank you. Um, and when you host a party, you get free toys based on the sales and half price toys when there's a booking um, and then you get more half price items if there's a booking for all for um, more orders. So the more orders, the, the higher the sales, the more free and half price products you'll get. Um, the other thing is, watch me. I've already kind of tripped over my words. If you're thinking, 
that looks like fun, or I could do that, or I could do better than she's doing. Please talk to me about the business. Let me just tell you what's going on for the rest of January. You can join Discovery Toys with a $59 plus tax payment, and then Discovery Toys gives you $140 credit, which you can use to order whatever products you want for your kit, as well as any supplies like catalogs and order forms, although you don't need a lot of that now because everything we're doing is basically online. So, um, Think about that while you're watching this recording and see if it's something you might be interested in doing. There is another kit that costs a little bit more, it's got more products in it um, and comes with catalogs and order forms. So uh, if you have questions about that, just send me a personal message and I'll answer anything I can. <clears throat> okay, the people who responded about the ages of their children um, have children between newborn and five. So, and there, if you count five as a preschooler, although it's kind of early school age, we have three children who I know of who are between three and five. And so I'll be showing you a number of products that are good for those ages. But let's start with baby toys because we have a newborn and a child who will be a newborn this summer. Um, by the way, I'm going to be a grandma for the first time this summer too. So I'm very interested in newborn toys. I've got a lot of them saved up. Anyway, I have um, three baby toys that are on sale and um, they're, some of them are um, more for babies than, late, than for toddlers, but um, at least one of them toddlers would really enjoy too. So let me just show you. This is called Rainbow Ribbons. So you know how babies love the tags on things? Like if you give them a toy, they find the tag and it's silky and they love the feel of it between their fingers. Um, that's what this toy is all about. It's got some great texture and visual patterns that will stimulate the visual part of the brain, but it's also very tactile. And all of these um, tags are silky, but they do feel a little different from one another. There's a loop for our boomerang links, which if you have baby toys, you want to have boomerang links. And even after that, they can do so many different things. Um, but it's also, it's not exactly a ball, but it can roll this way. It's kind of soft and squishy. It's got a reflector mirror um, on one side and um, it has a really sweet jingle. Brandy is joining us. I'm just going to wait a second till she's on. <clears throat> well, where are you? I guess I could keep talking until she actually gets on. I don't know. Um, I see that she's trying to get on. Anyway, that's rainbow ribbons and you can attach it and then when the baby tosses it down, they can get it back. It won't go to the ground with the boomerang links. So another baby toy is called Groovy Frog. And this is a really great multi-sensory toy. This, at this age, it's a sensory motor stage of development. And so we're looking for toys that stimulate all the different senses and also help the child move through their environment and manipulate things with their hands. And that's called fine motor. And using the large muscles of the arms and legs is called uh, large or gross motor. I think she's coming. Oh, oh my God. There you are. Hi. I'm not going to use my video because I my hair is crazy and we will be settled up for the night. Okay. That is fine. I um I started recording and okay. 
I'm just, um, I've done my introduction and I'm just um, starting to talk about baby toys. Are there particular ages you're interested in, Brandy? Uh, well, my son will be two in August. Oh, great. Okay. Yes. Great. Um, one of your other friends, Jessica, I thought she said she had a almost one year old, but I thought she was saying the birthday was going to be two. So I pulled out a bunch of things for two year olds. So anyway, um, I'm focused on the sale products. Um, that's what I have on my table here, but I have a few other things nearby also. So um, there were at least the three people who told me about the ages of the children in their lives. Um, two of them had infants. So I was just starting with the infant toys. So this is Groovy Frog and it's um, very multi-sensory. It's got the sound, kind of the rattly, and it's got um, a mirror around this multi-pattern um, ball and babies love to use their little index finger to manipulate things. And then it's like a kaleidoscope. Then the two That is ones, really cool. Isn't it cute? Um, <clears throat> Brandy, I don't know if I told you, but I'm gonna be a grandma this summer. So, um, Oh my gosh, that's so exciting, congratulations! Thank you, I am so excited. So, um, I'm really like excited to, I've been saving toys for 38 years, my whole career with Discovery Toys. So, um, I, <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at the baby toys in a fresh way now, knowing that I'm going to be able to um, share them with this little baby. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, the two legs are, they're textured, but they're also chewable. So they're like teethers and very easy for a baby to hold. And you can also use the boomerang links to attach them to the stroller or the high chair or the uh, car seat. <clears throat> And then the Starfish Shaker is, it's actually a new toy from this fall, but it is on sale. And it's a really cute toy. It's kind of like um, a tambourine. And it's got a mirror. And then around the mirror, there's a little snail. And it clicks when the baby moves it around. That's neat. Isn't this cool? And, and I was saying that, um, that, at least one of these three toys will um, be fun after the baby's a baby. And this is one that I was thinking of. It can be like a musical instrument. It's got a little squeaker. And then it's got, you know, some little things to manipulate with the fingers. And it's got lots of texture. It's got a little face. And it's big. I mean, you can see how big it is. So it'll last, um, you know, almost to the preschool years, but, you know, through, through the baby and toddler months. So those are the baby toys that are on sale. I'll sh just a couple other things for those watching the recording. This is called Super Yummy, and it is the best teether ever invented. It came out when my 32-year-old son was teething, and it saved our lives, and it's still just as good as it was then. So I'm not gonna say a lot more about it. It's easy to hold. He would sing into it when he was a preschooler, so. Uh, but it's just, you should know about it if you have a baby. I really like how that is just all one toy. It can be used the entire time they're teething. Absolutely. In fact, this part, the handle can go way in the back when their molars are coming in. And uh -huh. it's so easy for them to hold on to. Um, so it's not in any way frustrating. So that's called Super Yummy. <clears throat> cool. And, and then one more toy that everybody needs to know about. Now, there was um, somebody who has a one-year-old and she's um, expecting, Jessica, expecting a baby in July. And this is a toy that's great for one-year-olds. It's also great for newborns. And it's called um, Triangle, T-R-Y dash angle, because you can try lots of different angles. And um, so you can set it up for tummy time. So you put the baby in front of it and you could just go like this and the baby's eyes will get wide and it'll lift their torso and see where the sound is coming from. And then um, babies around six months, five, six months when their, their uh, pincer grasp is really developing, they love little things that they can manipulate with their fingers. And there's just, all sorts of little finger grooves and things that they can do. 
And then on this side, it's got the mirror and um, it's also got a ratchet motion, which is a little bit more sophisticated, but a really important skill that we use all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you can um, take boomerang links and attach it to either side of the stroller. So the baby has a busy box when you're out shopping. I have oh, sold these great. for children up to two and a half um, whose moms wanted to shop, but the baby didn't want to. <laughs> well, we've been we've been looking for something that we could strap to the stroller or to the car seat because we're getting ready to take a trip to Indiana and he's going to uh -huh. need something to play with. So that would be perfect. This would be really good. And then when you just have it on its own, not not necessarily on a car seat or a stroller, but you can set it up so that he can sit up and play or, you know, yeah. for babies who are pulling to a stand and when they get to standing there's something to play with on the table um but it's just it's a great toy and it's just one piece but it does so many things so that's called i said triangle um okay and then one of our wow toys that's on sale that's not on sale very often is the hammer away this is a great toy for toddlers, it starts, it says 19 months and up. And I know somebody who had a one-year-old birthday was um, looking at this. Um, and it's fine because children can, they can do it with their hands like that. And the ball, um, oops, didn't move this. It goes, disappears, reappears, disappears, and reappears. But then when they're ready to use the hammer, it's got a flat side that's got more of a surface. So it's easier to hit your mark. And then when they're a little more um, coordinated, um, it's got the rounded um, head. Now, when my great niece was visiting, she was 19 months old. And when I showed her this, first of all, she choked up and you don't have the leverage to make the ball go down. So I showed her to hold it at the end and then go tap, tap, tap. And then it would go down. And within a week, she had it perfectly and she loved it. So this awesome. toy, will hold a child's attention forever. Um, what they're learning, the developmental benefit of this is um, obviously it's large motor coordination. They're using the large muscles of um, the arms and um, they're holding it with their hands. So that's fine motor coordination. When they put the ball in, again, that's fine motor. And then um, when the ball disappears, and they can't see it, but they can hear it. That's called object permanence, when they know an object still exists even though they can't see it. Just like when a mom goes into the other room and the baby fusses um, and the mom yells out, I'm still here, I'm in the bathroom, or I'm in the kitchen, and the baby knows where to crawl or they know that the mom's still there. So um, they're different. Um, uh, textures of the rib of the ramps so that's you know, like different parts of their ear so that's called hammer away and it's so cute okay. yeah I really I really like that one I've had my eye on that for several months now and I'm like I just need to get it already <laughs> well it's perfect for a two-year-old I remember years ago I was set up at a kind of a fancy childcare center in Atlanta and a mom came into the room where I was set up and she said, um, do you have anything else that will hold my child's attention like hammer away? <laughs> and that's how it is. It's just, it will captivate a child. You can see the other toy yeah. behind over my shoulder, the castle marble works. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's another one that a child will play with it until you remove the child or you remove the toy. It's not on sale and it is probably one of our highest price items because it's so big and so involved. But <laughs> see, I can't even get it on the screen. Um, it comes with three big jingle balls like this. And there's yeah. a, up at the top one of the turrets. If I can. There you go. Um, okay. It's like a resting place and the other has a hole and it goes down. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. And I mean, an 18 month old, a two year old, a three year old, 
will play with it. I'm not kidding. They won't stop playing it with it until you do something about it. And, and, then, <laughs> and then it's got this um, drawbridge where the balls come out when they're ready. Um, cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that one too. That's a good one um, for a grandparent gift too, if they want kind of a wow gift. Um, so, okay, let's see. Other things that are great for two-year-olds and, you know, our toys are designed to last through several stages of development. Um, and that's because they have many layers of learning. That's what we all, that's how we describe that. Um, this toy is, <laughs> I don't have enough space on my table to really show you properly. Um, you do need a flat, slick surface, so like a hallway or a kitchen floor. It'll work on a dining room table too, but I just have too many toys here. But anyway, um, it's called Tumbling Train. And you just, let me see if I make sure I do it right. Oh, here we go. So you just push it down like this, and then it's going to go. Oops. Okay, I was just, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I was just about to open up my iPad because sometimes for some reason when I'm in the dining room, which is where my toys always are, um, I lose connection. Oh, okay. So now, come on. Um, trying to get the big screen back. Okay. Um, anyway, I was showing you this tumbling train. So when you push oh, cool. it, when you push it down, it goes, and then it does a somersault and keeps going. <gasps> cool! It's so. I mean, it makes me belly laugh, and kids just think it's hilarious. Um, I'm gonna have one of those. Yeah, it's, and it's really <laughs> inexpensive, even at the regular price. So it's it is on sale. So um, and it's real lightweight. So if you stuck it in a diaper bag or something for your trip, or just in a tote bag. Um, you know, it'll be fun when you get out of the car and need to run. Yeah. So, okay, some other things. We actually have quite a few things that are great for two-year-olds. Um, this is the oldest, most senior discovery toy in our catalog. And it's called um, Play Century. And this actually, in one, it's been, this is the third version of this toy, and the first one I had in my initial kit 38 years ago. But it's got three different category of, um, of objects. There's transportation, mm -hmm. pets, or domestic animals, and dinosaurs. And what's great about these, this is one that it's recommended starting at two years old. I gave it to my kids when they were just past one and I they go like this and I'd say turn it turn it and the animal would go in so the animals or the the pieces stick up above the board so it's easy for little hands and then they can stand up for imaginative play like that they drop <laughs> you could actually you could do like shadow imaging with that too you could. I just saw a picture of somebody, a, a child doing that with dinosaur figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. I've never heard anybody recommend that before. Um, I've, I've done a workshops for preschool teachers and asked them how they would use these in their classroom. And one woman said, because they're all the same color combinations. So she, she said, I'll take, I would take all the same color items. So it would be a dog, an airplane, and a stegosaurus and make up a story about them so um it's telling me my internet connection is unstable again so hopefully i won't go away anyway <clears throat> so um so they can stand up for yeah you're kind of cutting out i am i wonder if i should just set up my um ipad can you hear me <sighs> Let me just, um, let me see if I can set up the Zoom on my iPad real quick. <clears throat> then I have to try not to get an echo. And